Okay, so did you know a total of 31 diamond is required to craft everything in Subnautica? Most places will give you a couple here, a couple of there, but there is one place in the whole of the planet 456B that gives you unlimited, and I mean unlimited, amounts of diamond. However, the only slight issue is that this particular location is at a depth of 350 meters. And to get to that depth in a CMOF, you're going to need depth module mark 2. And to craft depth module mark 2, you'll need the modification station, which requires one diamond to construct. And in order to unlock the blueprint for the modification station, you're going to need to visit numerous wrecks, most of which will require a laser cutter. And to craft the laser cutter, you'll need another two diamond. So therefore, what I'm going to do in this guide, I'm going to take you to a place that's going to give you several, maybe even half a dozen diamond. Really easy, you don't need any depth modules. You're going to get your first lot of diamond from there. And then I'm going to be taking to the location, the holy grail of diamond. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's kick it off with the beginner's location for diamond. Really easy location. All you'll need is the radiation suit. It is a radiated area that we're going to be going into unless you've deactivated the drive court on the Aurora. Okay, now pay close attention because where we're going is sort of close to a Reaper. But if you keep on course and you follow this guide, you'll be fine. So we're going to be going one and a half clicks left of east. We're going to be going around about 600 meters, a depth of 100 meters ish. Now lastly, before we set off, make sure you don't start from your drop pod. You need to start from these coral tubes here, which is just like a horn shape in the water. There is another set over there. Don't start from those. They're slightly different in shape. Just start from this one here. This way, it's going to allow me to give you exact distance and direction. You start from your drop pod, which might be over there, there, or there, or there. Then the distance and direction I give you won't be accurate at all. And you'll probably end up going into a reaper. So we'll start from here. A uh, good idea is always to put a beacon down here as well. So you can look back and work out how far you've traveled. But well, that's it guys. Let's go. As I said, one and a half clicks left of east. We're at about 600 meters. I'm just going to go in one straight path. If you don't have your compass yet, just head towards the front of the Aurora there. Just make sure you look at where I'm going. Okay, we want to go down straight through the ocean floor. This is the point where you're going to be hitting the radiation zone. You need to have it all equipped. Because if you don't, you're missing one piece, then it won't work. So that's the helmet, the actual suits, and the gloves. Okay, here we go. Now, what you should start to be seeing, this is the grassy plateaus biome. And very soon, you should start seeing a wall. So at one and a half clicks left of east, keep on the track. And there's this cliff face here. Can you see it? Now, make sure you always stay here on this side. Don't venture over there, because you'll go into a reaper. Now, what we're looking out for is shale. So, you may have come across it, or may not have done, but this is shale. Now, this will typically give you lithium, gold, or diamond equally matched. But there's quite a lot of it, so you probably easily get more than three diamond, you might get six, seven. So that's your first diamond. That's your second diamond. Any more? Plenty more shale. Gold. Lithium. And did I spot another one down there? Yes, diamond. That's your three diamond. Now where you want to be going, not any further than, is just around about here so it's the last mushroom tree now any further you're going to be going into a reaper which normally spawns there so don't go any further than this guys really don't okay let's head back and let's look at the holy grail the ultra location for diamond okay so now the second location the location you are going to love now for this, you're going to need the depth module Mark II, but with that diamond that you should have got in the first location, you should have no problem crafting that. Okay, where do we need to go? We're going to be going one and a half clicks right of southwest. 
at a distance of around about 1400 meters. Now depth wise we're going to be going to around about 350 meters. However that is not the end location. Uh, we're going to do slightly an L shape to avoid a ghost leviathan. If we take one path then we're going to pretty much go head on colliding with a ghost leviathan which is not what we want. It'll do a massive amount of damage. 40 damage, easy to the seam off. A couple of bites of that and the seam off is gone. Okay, so let's go. As I said guys, one and a half clicks right of southwest. 1400 meters. If you need to check back, leave a beacon at the coral tubes that you should be starting from, not your drop pod. Okay, let's go. We're going to be passing over into some sort of dodgy areas. There are a lot of warpers at this particular location, so just bear that in mind. They do sort of do more damage as you progress through the game. They'll start off at stage one, do 20 damage. At stage four, they do 70 plus damage. So they do quite hard. Yeah. So they are quite formidable. Just be wary of them. Okay, and hug this ocean floor at all times. The other recommendation I do have as well is to go during the day. You're going to have far more visibility than going at night time. Uh, especially around these areas, it can get really dark due to the dense water. Okay, now you should be approaching the sparse reef. These are the peaks that you should see. This is an indication of the sparse reef biome. Just delve straight down. But just make sure you keep on that one and a half clicks right. You really not got anything to worry about at this point. Just keep on going. Okay, now at this point, around about 1,000 meters from the coral that you started from. Just check. Yep, you should hit this here, this channel on the right. Don't go down there, it's a blood kelp channel. So just keep on going. One and a half clicks right of southwest should see this archway it doesn't matter if you go over or under just go through it and then you should hit this wreckage here at night time it's all lit up with broken electrical currents going through it and then at this point here you should start seeing warpers now just be wary of them if they zap you out of the seam off just get back into the seam off you can knife them if you want to Okay, so from the wreckage now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going one click right of west. And this is going to allow us just to sort of curve around that ghost leviathan. The spawn points are really sort of where we need to have gone if we went in a straight line. Okay, we're just going to dive on down. Remember guys, depth module mark 2 is required. Because otherwise, your seam off will implode. Straight down. And we're getting close. And here we are. These are what's called the Sea Treader Leviathans. Huge but friendly. Okay, at this point, we're going to get out. Now, this is what I call the Yellow Brick Road. It's one long, giant yellow path. It's called the Sea Treader's Path. Now, what you can see is what they're doing here. Is churning up constantly. Chael. Lithium. Diamond. More lithium. Gold. And that is it. Lithium, diamond and gold. And this doesn't stop, guys. It does not stop. You just keep on following these guys for as long as you want. There is actually another power source for your base that you can get. It's called the nuclear reactor. It's going to give a ton of energy for any base. And you can check it out right here. 